but that went up very easily. I'm just gonna let off here. I clipped on here before actually. Now we're up. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Right, I've just uh, tied off. I didn't tweak anything yet. It's quite a pull even on that. The, the, the anti twist line on the back, the back stabler. Uh, Right, well, that's, that's quite a good guess for the tensions. Maybe the top um, top tensions a wee bit loose, or, or I could put that knot higher up. But uh, yeah, quite a good guess. Yeah, they look quite good. Not a hell of an angle on that today. Um, bike looks like it's being pulled over. I need to set that back anchor a wee bit because the tops aren't aren't there. So it's, it seems to be pulling harder now because that that you know there's much more flat set shape to the wind on a lot of these now yeah even i changed the bridle even though that red one's got the tip the tip is further out again so that's even flatter they've all flattened off a lot and i'm getting much more speed out of that much more power let's put some in i get some apps running hadn't i ah. Down pretty rapidly. I think I need to free that wee driver kite there. I've been running quite nicely. Lift lines, they're always tight on the bottom, loose on the top, so it's you know the top is tilting more that way from the, the angle. Electronics are letting me down today. The link to the wheel is uh, a bit of a scunner. Video, the um, GoPro, rubbish. Much better profiles on those rings today. A lot of that's to do with the dynamic bridling and also the tips of the kites have been let out further. They've been never untied, so just sitting so much better. That's good. Okay, the alignment of the bike with the stack today is not good. That, um, I think I'm going to come away from this bike notion and get something that's tailored for this situation because. Uh, that alignment's way off. So meters per second, that's about uh, from four. Peaking just over five. Yeah, it went up to six hours. Yeah, with a bit more wind, that, that, I mean, that's at 190 and this was up at 6. It's just a bit stalling now. Got really lucky with a lot of the tying on this today. See how flat that is. That's lovely. Pretty good, eh? Sitting nice. Uh, like I say, not a lot of elevation because that top lift kite isn't really hauling. I'm in a bit of a dip here, so... You know, the wind's having to... It's petering out and you know on the bottom part of that so I wouldn't think there's an awful lot in the top kite today. I should go you know, I could, I could you know I can whack that. I'm I'm reaching that. Uh, I don't really want to put my hand there though. When it's going slow maybe. It's not very light, there's a wee bit of a push off of it and a bit of flabbing but uh it's mainly from the lifter kite, to be honest. You look at the trailing edge of that. Off a lift. Off a flap, I mean. Uh, they're sitting quite good. Yeah, there's a bit of whistling. I think it's off the front one. Might... Well, I'm not sure the reading on this phone can be believed. Um, I mean, that's only it. Three meters a second. 
got a lot of torque on there. Okay, that's the first up. But then, you know, that's 340, that peak to there. 200 and something odd it's been showing. Um, 190. You know, that's 5.3 meters a second at top. So, yeah. 190, stop turning off phone. Come on. Hope you can see that. It's reading 190, 152, 190. It is very jumpy, rubbishy resolution in that readout, but uh, you know, 5 6 meters per second, 190, 190. That's at 3.3, 2.9, 2.8 meters a second, 3.3, 4, just. But, um, I mean, if those numbers are right, the efficiency is way up. But I'm not sure I trust this phone reading. Don't know how accurate that phone is, but it does look like the efficiency's gone way up. And that's a lot of trimming and uh, flattening off of the sails. I've been letting the, the tips out. So there we are, 3.8 meters a second, 4.5. The has gone blank, so yeah, well. So there's a fair bit of torsion in them ropes, you can see the, the twist on it. Okay, casting up to like five, five and a half meters a second. That's way down at three. <laughs> if that. Alignment's way out. Loads of torsion in it, loads of torque. Um, holding quite well, but very little lift there. Look at that veering way off. This bike uh, set up, that, that mount pulled out there. You can see that, it's way out. And, uh, yeah, 190, 152 watts. I'll maybe put a bit more torque into that, see what it can handle, but that size at, you know, 3, 4, 5. Trusting these readings at all. 228 there. Uh, I mean, if that's so, the efficiency is way up, but I'm not sure I trust the readings. So if I go stand down about where these tights are, we're down in a dip here and uh, it's much lower, it's only about 3.64, I mean I'm right underneath here, I really am, <laughs> in fact a bit too close, um, we're down in a dip here and it's only 5, with this at the bottom of the, you know, it scoops out down here, back there. So you know it's quite low down here. Yeah, it's about five or something. I guess up the top it's gonna be a good six. Who knows? I need to fly you up there to get there. Uh, yeah, I guess I was walking into wind there. You see the torsion on that? Even you know when it you see when the wind drops it slows down and you get to see the, the twist on those ropes. Speed up a little bit on the uh, gearbox, just one gear. That's going over 300. We're just in the middle. That's 
that's at 4.7 meters a second. Torsion in those ropes. Nearly full stall there. As you can see, I've gone up a bit of a gear. Torsion's really twisting there. Still only. watts if that's correct I mean I've got to check how that valve is working yeah the winds drop right off there the torsion oh is it gonna is it whoa I love it when it goes to stall like that and you just see kites sitting in midair come on oh that's it Jesus that's just Wow, this is right on the edge of the balance. Yeah, you see it dropped off to zero there. I'll put it up, I'll put it on a lower gear. Oh, it's higher. Yeah, let's give it a wee bit lower. Get it running, because I think for this wind it's not you know it's not gonna take that. That nonsense isn't in it. It's only 3.3 .3 meters a second. Zero at the moment. The battery has certainly uh, there's more lights on yet. Yeah. yeah, we're up to two. Started out on the video one. Yeah, you just have to trust me on that. I guess. Um, I've been riding with it on one for ages. Well, I don't trust that app at all, because earlier on at this wind speed, that exact same setting, that's saying 39, and between that and 74 again, it's got these multiples that jumps between, I, you know, it just seems like that's unachieved in the last minute or so, it's like a minute average or something, I don't know. I guess since that point where it dropped off to zero, I don't get it. After, I bet you after a wee while that app has gone up to, you know, it's saying like 200, 300. It's just unreliable. I have to work out another system. Yeah, it's still on the um, low side. I've tried mucking about with gears and stuff, but that's still down around the 100 again. Um, we are at... Four point five. It's back to seventy-eight. I'm convinced that uh, there's something something wrong with what that app is saying. I have no idea. I cannot trust that measure at all. It was way up earlier. Um, four and a half meters a second. One good thing to note. Oh. Ah, a wee second ago, that was at three lights. Jeez, you can't trust anything with this. I don't. Yeah, it's still two. Well, surely it's not draining the battery doing this. That was up. Hmm. <laughs> Running at about um, four and a half meters a second today. Not sure what the power rate is. Sure, I can trust that meter. It might be a function of how charged the battery is, how quickly it's loading it. See, the blades are a lot flatter today. The 
tips don't have any connector to them, so they're you know, just trying to back off a bit, so that gets the whole profile a wee bit um, more, you know, like that. This one does have its tips, but they've been let out a lot and they're a lot flatter. Everything seems to be working a lot smoother. According to some of the earlier power readouts, uh, it's a lot faster, a lot more efficient, but I'm not sure I fully believe those. Everything looks a bit more like the shape, you know, I'd sort of imagine when I'm making it, but... I used to say that's anywhere near the right shape. Yeah, that's a lot flatter on the front as well. That's a much... A much, much, much flatter shape on that blade. Happy with that. And it's run really well today. Um, I guess my alignment's a wee bit out there. That one's off there. and. Uh, the alignment of the bike has been shocking. That has to change. That whole mount system is it's not so great, but otherwise, yeah, really good. I'm in a dip here. Slow wind in this this part down here. Um, so you know, here it's only about you know four, three, well, at the moment three and a half. Um, yeah, so the lower parts aren't getting much at all. You know, when you get a good pulse and the tops falling away, you know, it, it was kicking out, and earlier on that reading was showing like 300 watts and stuff, and I, I can't believe it, I'm not trusting that. It's good though. It's a lot of, a lot of force taken down in the, the anti-twist line at the back, the, the backup sort of thing. Um, when you see the torsion! And it's going really slow and the, and the whole thing gets to catch up, you know, if that wheel's overloading the, the whole thing. The lift line goes slack between that, the, the bottom blue kite, uh, kite lift point and between these rings that lift line goes slack because all the lift is taken up in the outer cores and, and everything's going closer together so the relative lift line uh, is slack. Which is quite cool. Smart part of the dynamics, that. Hey, I'm up to three lights. That's my battery loaded. Pretty cool. That's tanking away now. Goodness. It's only saying 78 watts, but um, yeah, I'm showing you I'm not trusting that today. Um, uh, 5.7 meters per second. Dropped off gusty as and a uh, bit of a, a rolling position to come in, you know, there's a few, there's a wee hillock just there, and we're sort of behind that, 